Clinics, providing us with oxygen, food, medicine, and other elements oh, essential to our lives. That's the best of the desert. But over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land, even the hooves of the mighty buffalo. Scientists from EPCOT, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and Nestle are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. Others, like the jackfruit, fluted pumpkins, and dragon fruit growing here, represent the vast number of lesser-known tropical plants. Many of these are exceptionally high in vitamins and nutrients. Others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. The fluted pumpkin with its edible seeds and leaves thrives in the poorest soil conditions of Africa, making it a potential staple for millions of people. When we mention farming, you probably don't think of fish, but fish farming, or aquaculture, is an innovative way to increase harvests and protect wild fish populations. Tilapia, bass, and catfish are three popular crops raised by fish farmers around the world. In Asia, tilapia are often raised in rice paddies where the fish waste provides nutrients for the rice. This integrated growing system improves yields and reduces pollution. Nearly 30% of all fish consumed worldwide is raised on farm, making aquaculture an important part of our efforts to produce a bountiful harvest. Here at the land, they're certainly impressive, but their real importance far exceeds their record-setting size. These supersized crops represent the best efforts of scientists and farmers to improve plant yields. Years of careful selection and crossbreeding results in plants that produce more food, are more resistant to pests, and can even grow in marginal climates. Summer day. These plants are definitely on their way up. Vertical growing systems like ours increases airflow through the leaves, which helps to reduce disease. Diseases and pests are two of the biggest challenges faced by farmers around the world. Innovative growing techniques are just one way to fight these problems. Using beneficial insects to manage pest problems is another technique. Here's something you don't see every day. Tomatoes growing on trees. These plants were originally developed by Chinese scientists. Tomato trees live longer and produce many more tomatoes. One of ours lived 16 months and produced we only grow plants without soil throughout our greenhouses. That technique is called hydroponics. Now we're trying out aeroponics. Water and nutrients are sprayed directly on the roots of the plants as they fly by. In our lab, scientists from the U.S. Department of Agriculture are working to develop dwarf pear trees. The fruit will be normal size, but the smaller trees will be easier to grow and harvest. The goal of all these experiments is to discover new ways to better grow crops in even the harshest environments. Who knows? One day, we might even be able to grow food during extended space flights. 